Three players left. Here's the chip count. Steve Goodemote, 143,000. Bruce Malian at 91,000. Jeremy Fox at 66,000. And the blinds, 5 and 10,000. Good and raise. raise Very good hand. Fox is going to raise. 15 more. Three-handed. King, queen. Pretty all tough to get raise. away from. All in. Or put him all in. He's going to put Fox all in. So let's see if Fox draws the line here. Good emote has tremendous instincts. Recognizing somehow that he had the best hand. He felt that Fox was making a play on the blinds. And Fox folds the hand, not confident enough, and uh, well played once again by Gudemo. Barry, this is the time in the match where all three of these players, it suddenly dawns on them. Whoa, only two guys more. I win 25000 and I come back next week for a shot at 50000 and that million-dollar table. It seems to me that it's had less effect on Goodemoth than anybody else. He seems to be playing as consistently as he has before in pretty much the same way as he did before. Malian, on the other hand, is a guy who says, the longer the game goes on, the more differently I play. Well, he needs to raise here. You know, letting this Goodemoth fella see the flops for free doesn't seem to be a winning proposition. There's a little pair for Goodemoth. 15,000. Goodemoth plays right into him. 15,000. And Malian again gets out of the way. So again, it was well constructed by Goodemoth. I don't think either Malian or Fox would admit it, but I feel that they are fearful of Goodemoth. They just don't want to get into a confrontation with him. And it makes sense. He can bust both of them. He's by far the chip leader, but he's exuding an aura of fearlessness. Fox will take the blinds down here. Looks like a nice enough guy. He's got the darting eyes. Malian folds a 10-7. Fox made a move last time he had the small blind. Not this time. Good move again. We'll take it down. It's not a lot, but it's good enough, and it gives him 183,000. Good amount has won 20 of the 54 hands that we have played. Well, I don't there think is. this is going to be one of them no, if Malian not. does the right thing. Malian just needs to put the hammer down and say, I'm playing for all my chips. I all in. Malian, all in. Said it sort of offhandedly. <laughs> yes. but you know he's confident. I call. And Goodemote call? is getting more than two to one on the call. Yeah, one he two. is less than a two to one underdog, therefore. He is mathematically correct to put the extra chips in there. Good luck. Me too. And it is close enough for Goodemote with an 8 7. Now the flop is Ooh, a pair a for Goodemote. Makes him the leader now, trying to put out Malian. There's a jack. Barry Malian is at risk. He only has five outs going to the river. The three aces and two queens. No. It's over for Malian. Goodemode has eliminated Malian. And it happened quickly. And I'm sure Fox is saying, what am I doing here? Malian was our chip leader most of the way. He played boldly most of the way. He played boldly. And you can't argue with what he did on this last hand either. He had the best hand going in. But he finished second coming out. What well, are you ready to be part of the most exhilarating and breathtaking poker series ever? Each week, six lucky players are flown to Las Vegas to compete inside the Poker Dome. We'd love to welcome you to the game. Log on to mansionpoker.com and you too can earn a shot at a million dollars. Well, one of the two players remaining is going to earn his shot at it. Will it be Steve Goodemote? Or will it be the decided underdog, Jeremy Fox, 
Fox at 41,000, and Gudemote in command at 259,000. Of course, the winner will join DK Thomas, Victoria Whale, Bruce Spencer, Walter Graydon, and Ben Ludwig, who have already qualified. That takes place next week. $50,000 to the winner and a chance at a million dollars. Two players playing for one seat when we come back. <laughs>